Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about an issue which is specifically currently with Kaspersky Security Center version 13. Whether you are installing Kaspersky 13.0.0.11 um, or something or you are installing 13.1 it exists with both in combination to SQL Server 2019. If you have this combination, then you will face this issue. Otherwise, if you are installing Kaspersky Security Center version 13 with any other version of SQL Server like 2017 or 16 or anything, this error is not going to be there. So this is a compatibility issue between the database of Kaspersky Security Center and uh, with 2019 database server. So the issue is when you are going to work on Kaspersky Security Center console, it is going to hang for you. So let's say I'll click on certain things. After some times you will see that my Kaspersky Security Center is hanging over here. You see now console is hanging. Just to let you know this version is Kaspersky Security Center 13.0.0. 0 0.11247 um, we can verify the exact version which I have over here 11247 along with Kaspers, uh, along with SQL Server 2019 which I have installed over here you see it is hanging this is one of the things which you will get other thing what you are going to receive is if you are going to try logging into web console uh, okay, let me just try with my URL. Okay. I'll be able to open my web console. But now when I'm trying to log in with my user, it will accept my credentials, but the circle will keep on going. It's an ongoing thing. And if I go into developer tools I'm going to see in my console some kind of these error messages another thing to identify to rectify this thing is if you go to your event viewer okay you will see some error messages over here which will be related to memory I am going to show you them over here you should be able to see some sometimes you see sometimes you don't but you see some error messages like this and broken SQL server sometimes you will see an error message stating memory issues okay and maybe sometimes you don't see those errors over here most likely most likely you will see error messages of something related to memory but it's not hard and fast rule it's not compulsory that you will see an error message over here but mostly you do see so now in this case I will not be able to identify what is going on what is happening at at this level so what you would need to do in this case is First of all, let me just close my MMC, which is not responding. And just to show you one more thing. My solution to this is I have to come to sport.kespersky.com. Of course, in uh, version 13, we have two versions. I am using this version which is 13.0.0.11247 but both versions states the same thing for you just to let you know if you come over here it will state under 2019 some additional steps are required this is 13.1 and this is 13 and under both you have requires additional actions so for this purpose you need to go into this URL 
and you see you have some steps which you need to perform and what are those steps you need to connect to SQL Server using SQL Management Studio like this you need to copy this over here just in case if you have not used KAV as your database so database name while installing Kaspersky Security Center, you need to replace this KAV with the database what you have for SQL Server, uh, for Kaspersky Security Center. In my case, I'm using KAV. So I'm going to write a new query over here. Going to paste it. As I said, if this is different name, you have to change this name over here. And I'm going to execute this query now. And you see you have commands completed successfully, completed completion time and so on and so forth. I'm going to close afterwards this query. The next step is I need to restart my SQL service. That I can do from services.msc or I can come over here in my configuration management and I can just simply stop or restart directly or stop and start. I'm going to stop first so that we make sure this is stopped and I'm going to start it again. Once this is done, what I'm going to do now over here is just to show you because Management Studio might take a little time to show you whether it is lagging or not. The easiest way to check is if you have Kaspersky Web Console installed. Just try logging into it now. You should be able to log into this console. Moreover, if you come over here in Kaspersky Security Center, you see now I'm able to log in and I'm able to go into that and if I go here developer tools now active monitoring status dashboard everything is loaded though you have still some error messages but don't worry about them they're not a major issue for you but just to let you know there are some issues which shows over here but forget about them now you see my web console is loaded and this is very first time I'm loading this console I have possibility to go, go to um, your tutorial scenario. I'm not going to work on this now. I'm going to leave it for now over here. On the other hand, if I go back to my Kaspersky Security Center console, you see I can browse. I can do certain things over here. And now I'm smooth. There is no error message appearing over here. So we are good with Kaspersky Security Center now. As I said earlier, this is specifically if you're going with SQL Server 2019, whether Express, Standard or Enterprise, and SQL Server, um, along with SQL Server 19, 2019, if you're going with Kaspersky Security Center 13, whether it's 30.0.011247 or Kaspersky Security Center 13.1xxx, it is going to be there. So to fix it, you have to follow these steps. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for. And to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.